Yo, what's good guys? So you guys seen my updated pendulum list. Now we're gonna do combo tutorials. You're really utilizing Boral Savage. And uh, it's just nice, man. I mean, two didn't get anything with the two fog blade. It is an auto win too many times. And I'll show you guys maybe another video going second against the most meta. Because the side deck now is built so perfectly. I learned a lot uh, in the past few weeks. I've been testing a lot, man. A lot. And uh, I just learned a lot, bro. I learned how to destroy every meta. And we're going to be really, uh, the, moving forward, the channel will really focus on beating meta and really being the best Yu-Gi-Oh player you could be and really teaching you guys and helping you guys become the best Yu-Gi-Oh player you could be and eventually me be, me becoming the best Yu-Gi-Oh player on the planet in a few months when I get them done. But we're going to be doing test hands here. We're going to do as fast as possible to see if we get uh, get through three maybe. But every single hand is going to be four negates. Uh, Boral Savage really allows this to happen. And we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to put that there. So pen call shrine, Doctor Chrono shrine. This is a good hand. We're gonna end up with two, uh, like one brick, but you're gonna pen call it away. This is a good hand. So we're gonna go up Doctor, obviously. And I'm Doctor. If you guys seen out my last deck profile, do check it out if you haven't already. We're gonna play one because you're not always gonna draw two spells like this and a Chrono graph that leaves. So it's like three spells. We literally drew three spells that leave. So you're not always gonna draw that, but. If you drew two, let's say we drew two spells, this isn't even a turbo card at that point because then if we, let's say we didn't draw Chronograph, we draw a uh, Dragon Pit instead, put Dragon Pit three, and then it doesn't count as a turbo card because uh, you can't like, you can't do anything to summon a monster like turbo wise, you know? So it's not a turbo card, but uh, it only hands like this it is. But next, we're gonna shine obviously first. Uh, if it gets Ash, uh, sick, like you'd rather that get Ash and Penkal in this situation. And uh, we go with Dark Worm. To play around, uh, to play around, so we just played around Ash, like in the sense that you want to, like if they didn't Ash it, they're not going to Ash it. And then next you want a Pendulum Call to see if they're, uh, just to save your, uh, in case they have Droll. This, yeah. just different ways to play through uh, different hand traps. And uh, it's important that you play through hand traps smart, because if you don't, it's just not going to work. Like you're just going to get cocked at the very end. So just ensure when you do attempt to play on hand traps, uh, you play around them one by one. So they would have ash this. They drill this at the end. So now like, you know as you go on, they don't have that. Then you play through Ogre if you really want to, right? So it's like, that is the proper way to play around hand traps. Uh, next, we're going to the Oaf. Probably Oaf Dragon. Should I, yeah, we're going to Oaf, Chrono. And now we're going, this is two right now. Now we're going to pen this. Or uh, sp special, sorry, not pen. And that's why you don't want to special it out first and then add gate zero because... Uh, activating pendulum call is way more important than the adding the gate zero so it's just a small little way to play around droll that it requires zero effort on your end just a small little trick to play around it just in case they had it next has two right now so we're gonna put uh here there's a lot a lot of stuff you could do there's lots of stuff you could do we're going to activate chronograph to do three activate the effect at this point, if Doctor has three, we're in a special time gazer. Now with these are gonna go into electro. At this point, you really do not need to activate the effect, but but uh, you'd rather sometimes use it. You'd rather th in a hand like this, it's so good. You'd rather this get interrupted than your rusty or than your savage, your vortex or whatever. So we are gonna activate its effect in order to bait the hand trap. Because your hand is so good. Your pendulum summoning six at the moment if this leaves. If they ogre it or gamma, your pendulum summoning six uh, or five. So it's irrelevant. Uh, so you're going to activate its effect. Uh, we'll send Jackal. You can even not activate it. it literally, like, you, honestly, in a game situation, I would not activate it. But it does not matter. It's, your hand's so nice at this point. Uh, now we're going to activate. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to act. What we're going to do. We're going yeah, to act. Add this. Add Chronograph. I uh, might want to add something else actually. Oh, no. Special, special. There's a lot of thinking that sometimes goes through, so you're gonna have to special. Yo, did someone, what are you guys? Uh, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send a wisdom eye. That's weird. What? Who, do you know what Ali Alcimet? Yeah, yo, the guy comments on my stuff a lot, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, now we're gonna activate this, that Jackal. Why Actually, no, it doesn't matter what we are. We're going to Chrono Gap because it's a good follow-up. Uh, no, 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 let's see. Oh, no, we're going to add uh, a Harmonizer. So 
So you add a harmonizing off of Doctor. I'm gonna activate Electrum to pop this to add the chronograph to draw one card. Does not matter what we draw. We just want to make sure right now that wisdom, uh, wisdom, or or uh, we need a level four magician or a level seven in the extra deck to pen summon uh, to make sure our combo will resolve. So draw one doesn't matter what we drew. Now, as you do your combo, one thing that's important is you're gonna want to ensure that I, you make you summon two level sevens and two level fours. That's the most important part. And then a dark, I believe. Oh no, we hit the, come on a sec. Sorry, we're gonna send a dragon pit to, instead of the wisdom line with Electro. That's the correct play. So you see, like you gotta like really think through your plays in terms of levels. So instead of sending the wisdom line with Electro, we sent dragon pit. Then we sent dra we special dragon pit from the extra oh, yeah. with dark worm, yeah, like, uh, harmonizing and gate zero, and then actually <laughs> harmonizing effect the special wisdom line. No, no, this is you what you want. You could have done the other way around. Uh, no, it's important like this. Oh, you no, need no. to put absolute under the electro. So you need to ensure uh, seven. Well, you could have at the end of the day because you could have just gone underclock. Yeah. So it would have been the exact same result. But it's just a cleaner to ensure. So you want to always make sure you have two level sevens and then two level fours. Yeah. And a harmonize uh, one that you could say like a magician. So two magicians, one being harmonizing, two level sevens. Which is extremely easy to do as long as you manipulate it and actually are wary of that. If you're under understanding of that, you can easily, that easily, that? easily do it. No. Uh, next, we're going to. I have nothing to decide in. True. Uh, like, like I said, uh, X Y Z here. I made this thing for it. Extra's not popping now though. So people are thinking of playing it again, and then other people are saying it's fucking terrible for the middle right now. Wait a second. You're gonna do it like this. So I just see, like, you just gotta summon it like this. You gotta be wary of the zones you do. So I wasn't even thinking, because I'm concentrating on the video. You gotta summon it like this. Again, it's what the zones you summon it is very important. So if you summon it here, your underclock, your harmonizing will be under the underclock. But it, as long as you have two level seven and two level four magicians, that's what's most important. So you now go into the absolute, absolute in the electrum, go into underclock, and now you summon out the vortex. And now you go, uh, with these, you go into uh, leaving the Boral Savage, but you can't go into Boral Savage right away because you have to make sure Electrum or Underclock or whatever's in the grave. Yeah, no, and then you go into uh, your PK. You're trying what? Another and then you go into Boral Savage, I mean, it's a good thing which we brought out no, Wisdom with we'll Harmonize oh, it. I off the bottle. Yikes. So the Boral yikes, Savage yikes. is going to be uh, our proxy, which uh, we don't have at the moment. Boral Savage is now going to bring out Electrum, making so 3900 attack. Uh, we're gonna activate Oath to add the Harmonizer, which we have not used yet. We're not gonna activate the rust, the Rusty to get the two traps. And we're gonna banish the Boots. And this is our hand. Now, one thing to note as well is we did not normal summon this turn. And if we added with Abductor, if we added a Jackal, we could have added Jackal. And uh, it would have, instead of Harmonizing. So we could add Jackal instead of Harmonizing. And this would have been a jackal, nice and here. this would have been in the extra deck because Oaf wouldn't have resolved. Then you simply tribute summon over the rusty, so you end up with five negates. But honestly, this is more than enough, and it's a better follow up to make sure that you have a magician's going around in your scale, and this is your cards in hand. So you end up with four negates and uh, a fantastic follow up. You have complete scales, uh, zones for next turn, and a full hand. And uh, and Oaf Dragon uh, adding again next turn. So it's protected by pen call too. And it's protected by pen call. And like what even if Rusty dies, you get zones back and like Boral Savage and Vortex two negates. So this is just like I said, just every single turn is like this. As I said before the video started, uh, the only issue that you got to do now is you just got to be. It's not difficult. It's extremely simple. You just got to be wary of the zones you pen summon in. So as you saw, like, I just got. I'm the pen god and I still summon in different zones. Obviously, if I played a real match, I'd think about it. But I, I am talking about it in the video, but as long as you are wary of it, it's extremely simple and you won't make a mistake on it. So just ensure that you want two level sevens and two and two magicians and the zones that you want to make sure you want to go to underclock right after with the absolute and the electrum. Because the dark must be saved with the level four, dark, uh, any dark has to be saved for the rusty. So make sure uh, you summon them out in that in that way. So when underclock comes down, board doesn't go right under it. And you do that, and then because you can't go into Bro Savage till after Rusty comes out, because then it'll have to uh, take Electrum's, uh, take Electrum, right? Or Underclock. And I'm gonna do another hand. Every so, like, I've, I've tested so many hands with this, 99% of hands do it. Uh, would you like to cut, Mr. Razak? Oh, yeah. Bro, I say your name's so white. Because do this. Oaf, Pencall, Pit. Yeah. Not good, we want to, okay, we win. 
So we wanted to see the turbo card. Uh, one thing that I do sometimes is I actually pen call the allure sometimes if I draw a hand like this because uh, you don't want to get, a, you don't want to draw a bunch of traps, right? You don't want to draw your PK cards. Uh, but what we're going to do here is because you don't want to play around Ash what? still. Excel, you can't extraction uh, We're going to pen call actually. Yeah, there's no way to play around it. We could, like, if we drew other turbo cards, you know what I mean? That's the thing, I, like, allure and desire are sometimes, like, iffy, because you don't know what's going to happen. But if we allure, we have to pen call first. Because if we allure and don't draw a dark and banish this and draw magicians, we don't have a turn. So, what we do, we, we don't have, we can't make our Electrum. So, I'm going to allure, I'm going to allure. It just saves time, right? Like, what? Oh, my God. So, I lured and got rid of this. So, that was my personal mistake. So, you see, that's what happens sometimes when you play a lure. You don't know what you're going to draw. But uh, we're definitely going to draw turbo cards. We're going to desire off the bat. The reason why we had to lure first, actually, was because if we pen call, because if we go curtain raiser, we don't have nothing to normal summon. So, like, you, you guys see that theory there. If we go curtain raiser, we have nothing to normal summon. We would have to pen call right off the bat. But then we'd have nothing to pop with Electrum. So... So because they're all magicians and they can't be destroyed, right? So because of that, uh, it was mandatory to allure. Now we're going to desire is, uh, even though we didn't draw dark, it's fine. Uh, it's just the overall smarter play. And if we pen called uh, O for pit, uh, that's another option. But it just dark. overall, just, I, I like the ratios more. Uh, it sucks we didn't draw dark, but whatever. Now we're going to desires. Uh, we're mostly going to draw turbo card because we have so many in the deck and we didn't draw. So, oh my god. Okay, now you guys are going to see how to play. Around bad hands, man. So bad hand, like like no turbo card, and we're still gonna play around it. This is if you're gonna see a hand to watch, this is the exact hand to do it. Because with a hand like this with no turbo cards, we're still gonna put up a great board. So you're gonna wanna save this and you're gonna kinda wanna abandon Rusty for the rest of the turn and just uh avoid it. You just don't need to do it. You're gonna pen call the desires, uh, you're gonna add a harmonizing, and you're gonna wanna think what you want in scale. It's times like these where I do uh, probably get Gazer if we didn't banish it. Do we banish Gazer? Yeah, we banish Gazer. Oh, that's fine. Uh, Oath Pit. So you want to think here. What else do we banish? Oath Pit. You could bring out Harmonizing. If we brought Harmonizing and like a Wisdom. If we had a Janker. Kill me this turn. You got to think really hard for this, because also on top of that is uh, if you go into Electrum, you're going to have to want to put Gate Zero in there. So we're going to add the car. We're, we're going to add any random magician. We're going to add uh, a Wisdom Mine. You jinxed the match. <laughs> Next, we're going to put Zero and Pit in the scale, abandoning Vortex, and we're going to Pen Summon. Harmo effect will trigger, especially a, another Wisdom Mine. Before. Now I'll just get this a little more clean for you guys. Now, I should have a little special pool for poison. Sorry about that. I was already up to. Now you want to think, uh, yeah, yeah. you kind of want to no, save these for Boral Savage. Where are you and you right? kind of want. There's lots of plays you could do here. We could go Boral Savage and Double Fog Blade. Uh, Electrum, Pop, Chrono. We did not normal summon yet. Uh. You're gonna wanna save this. We're gonna go with these two, we're gonna go into Electro. Electro effects. We're gonna say, and if they like, if they interrupt this with something, that's fine. You still have your two negates. So even if you still have negates regardless of the situation. Uh, we could go Jackal. So one option is go Jackal. Electro pop, tribute summon, and then go Boral Savage over the Electro. Uh, you just gotta think deep here. We could go special, uh, we could go chrono, pop this, special chrono, and then we're still one off to get the rusty. So the only way for three negates with this hand is Jackal. Uh, like for, we, we couldn't make Electrum for our pen summon, we're still gonna have three negates. So it's like, that's totally fine, that's still a win. Uh, so we're gonna cut, this doesn't matter what we draw at this point. Uh, Electrum, we're gonna pop the zero. Add the Jackal. Another thing you could do if you want to follow up is you could pop, add the Oath, draw a card, and then have uh, Wisdom Mind for a follow up. But two negates might not be enough. So we're going to instead pop the gates here, add the Jackal, draw a card, and then we're going to get the third counter because whatever it is, we're just going to activate it unless it's like a high scale. Uh, so cut, please. 
And again, for those scrubs that do think you, oh my God, their desire is nice. Uh, that's fine. And now we're going to tribute summon, putting the link in grave, and then going into Boral Savage. Uh, this gets banished. So obviously, with a brick hand like that, it was not the best hand, but at the very least, uh, you do have three negates, even though through a bad hand, and they don't know what you have in your hand. So you simply set two, and then you're gonna like table talk your opponent into like, like, oh, I drew all my fog blades. And then so it's for like 20 minutes, and then do cowboy. Okay, no, 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 no. But you are gonna table talk in yeah, the it's... sense that you're gonna be like, oh my god, I drew two fog blades. You're gonna like kind of like tell him. So you're gonna set two, and he he knows you play uh, PKs. Like you're gonna like, like like maybe like accidentally show your rusty or something. Like, like he's, you're gonna you're, he's, you're gonna expect two fog blades there. So they're trying to play through four negates at this point, even though there's just three. And then on your turn, you're gonna draw. And you're playing a little thicker of a deck. It's 45 cards. You can activate your other desires happily. And then if you draw a low skill, you win. So let's see if we win the duel. Draw a low skill here, we win. And uh, are we a lore? And we we draw a decent skill. Whatever, it's good enough. And it's like. It's not the best, but it threw a brick hand. Like that is a brick it's hand. If you played, negates. if you played uh, three negates, and if you played uh, the normal pendulums, you're putting up maybe two negates with a hand like that. So that's a, just a typical thing. Uh, Yo, Ray. Yo. Yo, do we have five more minutes before you leave? Do we have before, what? Before we leave. Do we have what? Do we have five more minutes before we leave? Five minutes exactly. Go. Okay. Okay. I do not want to end the video on a garbage garnet dot deck hand. So we're gonna do one more random hand. It was still three negates, but three negates is not good enough. We wanna see four, and we wanna see four with follow-ups. Like you saw the first turn, where it's four, like, we had three with no Electro before a pen summon, but not the best follow-up. Uh, if you saw, remember our first one? Yeah. It was uh, it was four negates with three cards in hand, with full scales, all magicians, complete, like, links for next turn. So we're gonna draw. Yep, well, we win. So, now again with this hand, you're going to want to play around hand traps smartly. You're going to chrono in scale. Uh, you're not going to activate Duelist Alliance because it will be susceptible to draw. Uh, we're going to use effect. I kind of want to activate Bashilas just for jokes, but just because I like activating its effect. We're just going to normal summon it to be uh, safe. Uh, at this point, we are safe to activate Electrical Effect because if it does get Ghost Ogre, we could simply, because we are discarding this, we could uh, get Oak Harmonizing and uh, Harmonizing. So it's not the worst if we do activate it. But we are going to activate it in this hand for sure. And now you have lots of options here. We're going to send Harmo. Yeah, we're sending Harmo here. Ogre. And if we got Ogre here, that's totally fine. So we pen call, Ash. get Oaf and uh, Oaf and Fang at uh, Oaf and Harmo Ash. at Harmo. And Victor is very fat, and I do recommend him hit the gym because he could definitely lose a few 200 pounds, and it'll be Yikes. very healthy for him as well. And Ash. he probably won't die at the age of uh, 22. So uh, at this point, we're gonna use gate zero. We're gonna pop the gate zero. I'm gonna pen call first, just in case they do Ash. Uh, we're gonna now know what to search or add, add with Electrum. He got Ogre So too, we're gonna uh, add Harmo and Oaf Dragon. Oh, interim multi -figure. And uh, at this point, we do want to see, uh, we do want to see, uh, what's it called? A magician, a level four magician or a level or a dragon pit. That's it. That's it. Uh, cause that way it just uh, it lets you get Boral Savage instead of Dragster, but this time will still get, uh, the, the ne original negates. Uh, doesn't matter what we draw, we still have four negates. It's just, I don't want to draw boots cause then it'll be three negates cause the traps will be stuck in your deck. So draw Cerberus. It's a useless card. Uh, we don't really need it. We can actually pop if we want. But we do want the special zero from the extra deck. So we're going to pop the gate zero. And we're going to... You want to know what you're going to pen from the extra deck. So we're going to summon... Uh, we're going to add the gazer. Can't believe I just did that. But it's just a smart play overall. Uh, next we're going to... Actually... Yeah, yeah, no. We have to do it like this. Old Dragon add the harmonizer. Then we're going to pen summon... Now we're gonna go Dragon Pit, Absolute, under, okay, perfect. So now we're gonna use Harmonizing Effect to bring out Dragon Pit. 
And now it's going to be the exact same board as the first turn. Uh, first one I showed you guys, except instead of Bro Savage, it's going to be Dragster. But again, if we had access to Wisdom Eye or any level 4 Magician or level 7, or we, we could have used Electrum, if, but we needed that, uh, Harmonizing was better in that time, we would have sent Wisdom Eye and we would have been able to also go Savage instead of Dragster. But again, who cares? We could have used Cerberus to get a Jackal instead as well before we put these out and then just have a Jackal in hand. Sorry? They're both tuners, aren't they? No, this is not a tuner. Uh, so we, oh, before okay. we before we used uh, any magician, we simply just used Cerberus to get the jackal, and then uh, we would have drawn first. Oh, it would have changed the whole thing. So it's a, wait, no, we already drew. Oh no, Cerberus, we drew off the Electrum draw. Yeah, my bad. So we drew off the Electrum draw, which we still could have put it in anyways, but it's too late now. It doesn't matter. It wouldn't affect anything, but it's literally the same thing. Uh, you go into absolutely. It just would have been a jackal in your hand. Uh, so we go jack. Uh, what did we do? Absolute. An absolute and electrum go into underclock, bringing out the vortex out here, and then you go into uh, your rusty. Then you can go into dragster. This is where, if you had, like, again, the Bull Savage, if you had a level 4 magician, and then rusty effects triggering, giving yourself two fog blades, ending on four negates. And if you weren't fried or if it wasn't 4 a.m., you'd use Cerberus before you activated your magician when they're completely free and you would have got a jackal uh but it wouldn't have changed the amount of negates it just in terms of a follow-up and there's having a jackal instead of a surplus in your hand and leaving with four negates uh the nice uh again the the follow-up is nice it, ensur it ensures that you have skills you did pen call you have scales and next turn you're adding back an X harmonizing and drawing a card and having like zones with this. So the follow-up is nice. I think you draw the follow-up is always nice with Rusty and much pen call. So when you know you pen call and you have Oaf and Harmo and they're safe, that's why six pen call is absolutely necessary. So that is the deck. Uh four negates the first two, three negates the second through a garbage hand. So like you guys saw, like pendulum are the best deck, guys. More videos coming soon. Guard Dragon Pendulum's coming tomorrow or the day after whenever the hell i feel like editing my videos but don't forget to subscribe guys see you guys in the next video peace